latest on the Titanic missing sub. Hours away from suffocation and a billionaire is missing. Five people who went to see the wreckage of the Titanic via a submersible have gone missing, including the submersible itself. The five people are Shazada and Suleiman Dawood, father and son duo from one of Pakistan's prominent families. Their firm, Dawood Hercules Corp., based in Karachi, is involved in agriculture, petrochemicals, and telecommunication infrastructure. Hamish Harding, a British billionaire residing in Dubai and chairman of Action Aviation, an aircraft brokering company, Harding paid to join the expedition. Stockton Rush. Stockton Rush is the CEO of OceanGate, the company responsible for the submersible and the tour. Rush was the pilot of the submersible. Also missing is Greg Stone, a longtime ocean scientist and friend of Stockton Rush, describes him as a real pioneer in the submersible innovation. Also missing is Paul Henry Nargalet, a former French Navy officer and Titanic expert. He's made 37 dives to the wreck in the past and participated in the recovery of 5,000 artifacts. How long has it been missing? The submersible has been missing since Sunday morning, June 18th. The dive was expected to last two hours, but contact with the support ship was lost after one hour and 45 minutes. How much oxygen remains? If the submersible is still functioning, it is estimated to have around 20 hours of oxygen remaining. They must be found within 12 hours, or they're likely to suffocate during the eight-hour journey back to the surface. What is a submersible? It's important to understand that a submersible is not a submarine. A submersible lacks the power to launch itself into the ocean and return autonomously, relying on a support ship for launch and recovery. Submersibles are typically unmanned, but this case involves a manned submersible. Possible explanations for why it's been missing. Titanic expedition leader G. Michael Harris believes the worst case scenario is that the hull suffered an implosion around 3,200 meters. Harris fears that the Navy won't be able to rescue the passengers. Rear Admiral John Mauger, overseeing the search and rescue mission, suggests the possibility of the vessel being trapped in the Titanic itself. This has happened before, with the submersible getting stuck under a propeller in 2000, but it eventually made its way back to the surface. The submersible might be floating undetected in the vast waters. A power loss could have occurred, allowing the vessel to return to the surface and waiting for search crews to find it. A fire or a flood on the submersible would unfortunately lead to certain death. However, as of now, nobody can say for certain what has happened. Poor build quality of the submersible. The submersible used for the exploration had previously received safety complaints. An OceanGate employee had specifically complained that the sub was not capable of descending to such extreme depths before the employee was fired. What's even more surprising is that the entire sub is controlled using a cheap Logitech video game controller. Other off-the-shelf parts were, made, were also used in the building of the sub. On Tuesday, banging sounds were detected from beneath the water in the North Atlantic Ocean where the Titanic wreckage is located. Sonar devices picked up the sounds every 30 minutes, continuing even after four hours with additional sonar deployment. These sounds may be the submersible's occupants calling out for help, although it cannot be confirmed. If the submersible is still out there and the passengers are alive, one can only imagine the ordeal they must be enduring. 